Pancreatic cancer screening, sequencing DNA from secretin-stimulated pancreatic juice. Advanced pancreatic cancers are difficult to treat. Fortunately, some pancreatic cancers arise from curable precancerous lesions that form cysts, fluid-filled cavities in the pancreas. These cysts can be detected and treated. However, pancreatic cysts are very common lesions. Some are precancerous, others are harmless. The challenge is telling the harmless cysts that don't need treatment apart from the precancerous cysts. They can be indistinguishable using standard medical techniques such as CAT scanning. Harmful cysts have genetic mutations, DNA changes, that aren't present in the harmless cysts. A new approach to detect these DNA changes in cyst fluid is being developed in the Sol Goldman Pancreatic Cancer Research Center at Johns Hopkins. It will help doctors accurately classify cysts in the pancreas. The patient is first put to sleep by an anesthetist. A narrow endoscope is then passed through the patient's mouth, into their stomach, and on into the second part of the small bowel. There the endoscope is carefully positioned near the opening through which the pancreas normally discharges its fluids into the duodenum. The patient has been given a hormone called secretin, which stimulates the pancreas to secrete more fluid. Pancreatic fluid contains small quantities of DNA shed by cells of the pancreas. This includes the DNA shed by cells in some types of pancreatic cysts. The flowing pancreatic fluid is collected using a suction tube at the end of the endoscope. In the laboratory, DNA is isolated from the fluid. The DNA sequence is determined and analyzed for presence of DNA mutations. The type of mutation can provide a clue as to whether a cyst in a pancreas is harmless or potentially harmful. For example, the presence of mutation in a gene called GNAS indicates that at least one of the patient's cysts is an interductal papillary mucinous neoplasm, or IPMN. This type of lesion has the potential to develop into cancer and may need to be treated or monitored. By contrast, the absence of a mutation in one of the genes commonly found in the harmful types of cysts suggests that the cyst is harmless. The team at Johns Hopkins believes that this approach and other approaches being developed in the research labs will change the way the cysts in the pancreas are treated. DNA sequencing is a powerful tool and soon will help guide patient care, giving doctors an opportunity to treat patients before the onset of cancer.